Old controllers can be a pain. Buttons worn out, cables strained. Wouldn't it be better if it was like new? Now there's a solution. Buying a third-party controller? What are you, stupid? Hey you. Yeah you. Smack him for me. No dumbass, fix it yourself. Okay, okay, so this isn't the typical kind of video you'd see on a gaming channel. Sue me. Actually, don't sue me, I'm kinda broke. But what can I say, I love to tinker. Any chance to mess around or modify something, I'll go for it. I got a pair of Famicom controllers just to see if I could wire the second controller up to use the microphone. And be honest, wouldn't you jump at the chance to kill an enemy by going, AH! For those of you who use headphones, we deeply apologize. Alright, so let's see if I can make a repair video entertaining. Okay, first things first. You need some tools to work with. Screwdrivers are obvious. But in order to replace the cable, you'll need a soldering iron, desoldering pump, and some solder. Flux is optional. Turn on your soldering iron. Or, if you're a low-class troglodyte using your grandpa's $2 wood-burning kit from the 50s, plug it in and pray to the Holy Trinity that it doesn't burn down the house. Alright, now that that shit's warming up, take this moment to strip that bitch down and expose the naughty bits. Like the dirty whore she is. Oh yeah. <clears throat> Sorry. We'll also take this time to remove that sloppy dongle of a joystick. And the rubber contact pads too. Alright, now we're ready. Take your recycled toaster parts and the desoldering pump and get ready to suck. No, really. You heat the solder to its melting point, then suck it off. Suck it out. I feel dirty. Once all the solder is removed, you grab the end and wiggle it out. Wiggle, 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 yeah. NEW CABLE! Get it out of the box! Wait, what's this gray shit? We don't want gray shit! So take something useless, like a GameStop rewards card, and cut strips from it. Then stuff those strips into the plug end, grip it nice and hard, and tug. Now we can put the blue end, the proper end, on the cable. After you've played grab ass with that new cable, you can now put it onto the board and prepare to attach it with your over-glorified curling iron. It's that simple! But wait, we're not done yet. Now we have to put everything else back together. And we'll be using the new contact pads we mentioned earlier. Well, most of them. That shop is gonna get a talking to. Now for the new joystick! The look of it just screams third party. But as long as it works, who cares? The connector actually fought me going in for like 10 minutes, but I do like a tight fit. <clears throat> now that all that is in place, all that's left to do is route the cable and close her up. Simple. But does it work? TESTING TIME! Now I've got five working controllers in the house for the N64. Four of which were repaired by me. Fifth one was a third party. You don't know until you try them. I actually don't have a problem with third party controllers. When you have a chance to have the real thing, why not go for it? Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know by giving that like button a bop. Leave comments down below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Hopefully, it'll amaze.